thank you, thank you for your patience. Waiting for the jar love arroz to be completely finished. Now, I want to ever so gently lift the pot out of the rice cooker so that you may observe. Well, let's see. And we know it's very hot, so we must be very careful. Very, 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 very careful. Oi! But there's a technique to everything. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it ever so gently towards you so that you may observe that beautiful, beautiful color of the arroz blended with turmeric and that roasty red zesty tomato sauce and the red peppers and the green lima beans. Hey. Yes, my friends, now watch. Here's what I like to do. I like to take my spatula and do a gentle, gentle fold. And this will tell me if all the water is absorbed. Oh yes, it is quite so. What I like to do now, my friends, I don't like to stir it too much because it will break up the rice and make it a bit mushy put chunks. So we don't want that to happen. No. But you see, we want it to just fall apart as best as rice can fall apart. So if I was serving this, I would get out a little dish and show you just how lovely this arroz is. So, put our little dish here. Take a scoop. Now, I will bring the bowl here. And you see, my friends, we it's moist. That is what we wanted. We wanted moist rice. But we also don't want it to be too gummy. No. And that is why we roasted the rice previously. Now, if I did not put in enough water, the rice would be crunchy. If I put in too much water, the rice will be mushy. But because we put in only, I believe, five cups of water for about two and a half cups of rice, I do not believe that we put too much or too little. But the test will be this, my friends. Now, there's still heat in there. Now I must taste the rice and make sure it's not too crunchy. If it is too crunchy, I will have to add just a little more water and let it cook. Otherwise, I could just let it continue to absorb, absorb, absorb on low heat. Let us find out, my friends. Let us find out. Hmm. Okay. Start with the lima bean. The lima bean must be cooked properly.
Mm. Notice how the pepper has maintained its identity. That is the red corn from Massachusetts. He's my friend. I lived with him for 15 years. And now he graces the face of my clock. And he tells me it's three o'clock. Okay, back to tasting the final creation. So we've got the lima bean, the red pepper, and the golden yellow arroz. And we call this Jalav arroz. Bon appetit, my dear, dear, dear friend, Julia is to say. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Quite nice. Yes, my friends, the rice is cooked very nicely. One more, here we go. in front of you. <laughs> it's just too delicious to put down. <laughs> oh, but I must. I must. I must get on with my errands. That's all for today. Thank you for joining me. Another wonderful success story with Gaiama. Gaiama, one love, special recipes. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. And remember, cook with love and joy, and all will be well. Thank you. Be well. Be happy.